What's up, my beloved? You guys, today we are eating some tacos. I got me some peppy, peppy tacos. Look at that, y'all. All yum, yum, good. I didn't got my stuff out yet. Anyway, we're going to say grace and then we're going to get in. So, oh. yeah, let's say grace. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this food and drink that we're about to receive. We ask, Father, you bless it, that it may be nourishing to our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, We're out and about. As you can see, I'm in the car. And I have healthy stuff with me, but don't have a microwave or anything. So, looked on the Numi app, and they have Fresco Tacos chicken uh, from Taco Bell that you can eat. They are 280 calories, so it fits mm. within my calorie count. And that's what I'm eating. What are you eating, y'all? Peppies is the best. I got them beef tacos, too. It's 280 calories for two. Ah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. They're only 140 calories. I don't used to eat those all the time. When I was on the um, mm -hmm. Food Lovers Fat Loss Plan. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Mm hmm If you guys are following the weight loss on um, my weight loss on my channel, I got that video coming out tomorrow. Update you on where I'm at and how I've been doing, as well as the recipes too. Mhm. Mm <coughs> my water. At? Yeah, he's been doing good. Nope. Yep. So don't forget to check me out on Man in the House. Man in the house. I hope I got a good thumbnail. Oh yeah, we should do that right now. Yeah. Can't go wrong with a nice, hard beef shell taco from Peppy. Mm How are you all? Hmm? Are you burning up? Yes. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put it down. I'm sitting in the sun. Mm. These on sale, y'all. Five for five. Five for five. That's a really good mm -hmm. deal, y'all. For for those, those peppy tacos are like mm -hmm. two dollars and some a mm -hmm. taco. In some places, or uh, one seventy five. That was a super deal. Yeah, it was. Uh oh, I'm losing my lettuce. Mm. I'm losing my lettuce. Mm. Wait. 
accidentally put a little cheese in it. So, let me check it now. Y'all, we out in um, Illinois. Yeah, Illinois. I want to get my water, y'all. I wanted to try those strawberry, them Skittles, um, slushy, so bad. Oh my goodness. Taco Bell? Mm hmm. Skittle freeze. That's going to be hard. Uh, I like freezy sometimes. Summertime coming. Mm -hmm. Summertime. Well, there ain't gonna be no temptation for me. Wow. I can't drink it either. You didn't drink that stuff when you were. Not really. So. I don't like a lot of sugar, y'all. Oh, yeah. I'm not a real sugar eater like that. Oh, I love them. me some cakes and pies. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes. But. Yeah, I don't. I don't do candy and stuff. Only time I do candy is like. For some reason, like before I was doing the Nutrisystem thing, like if I ate something low carb that day, man, you just mm -hmm. be craving something sweet. Mm -hmm. You know, she would have a candy by the bed and I'd be like, yeah, let me grab a few of those. But now even she can't eat a lot of the candy because mm -hmm. of the braces. Right. Um, the kind of candy I like is chewy candy. Right. The gummy candy, and I can't eat that now. Hi. Right. I eat it sometimes if I could suck on it. Yeah, she be trying to suck on. She be trying to suck on it. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't know how you can do that. I'm not like that. I'm like that. Uh, Y'all remember that commercial back in the day? I think it was the turtle with the Tootsie Roll pop. And they would they would ask how many licks does it take to get to the mm -hmm. center of the Tootsie Roll Pop? Mm -hmm. And he'd say one, a two, three. Mm -hmm. well, well, well. And and he couldn't get through, he couldn't keep licking it. That's how I am. I had to bite it. I mean ate dang up. I, all that all that sucking and all that stuff, that's too much. It's too much. Mm -hmm. I'd be ready to, you know, get all the juices out of it and, mm -hmm. and that's it. I am going to just um, pop pop, I mean pop peppies. Hmm? It got crowded. Oh yeah, yeah, it's lunchtime. Not bad. Because of that, people don't work. They going to dine in. Yeah, you got an hour for lunch, you can dine in. Um, mm -hmm. That's if you work at the bank. The gas station, mm -hmm. the chicken joint. Maybe <laughs> yeah, these places around here. Well, chicken joint only getting like 15 minute break. You're right. <laughs> the bank, the bank probably only want to get an hour. Mm hmm. Yeah, Burger King, you got 30 minutes. 
Mm-hmm. Five mm-hmm. minutes. Get you a burger. Sit down and eat. Man, oh, I didn't even think about that, y'all. What? I didn't even think about, you know, people doing a weight loss journey this year. Mm-hmm. And especially all of you that are on my channel that are that are watching me. Mm-hmm. I ain't even thought about what if you work at a fast food restaurant or all you can eat buffet and you was trying <laughs> you was trying to be on your weight loss journey. Man, y'all y'all be talking about asking you know, if I be tempted because she was she not me eating on this, this nutri system stuff, I'm like, think about these people. Mm-hmm. You know, think about people that can't get away from it. You got to watch people eat or you got to be, you know, you got to serve people food. That's that would be a trip. That's hard. That's hard. That would be hard. And the other part about what do you it too, do around Thanksgiving? Our Nutri system got some Thanksgiving many uh stuff. They got some Thanksgiving re- recipes for you. Mm-mm. I didn't already looked them up, y'all. <laughs> I didn't already looked them up. But um, but yeah, if you was in a fast food restaurant or you was man, just think if you worked at Sweetie Pies. Mm-mm. You saw all that mac and cheese Mm-mm. and and all this. Uh, uh, it'll be a dumb it'll, one. It'll be it'll be rough. It'll be a wrap out here. You know, and that's really not the biggest issue. It's not just it's not just the fact that you got all that food around you. Because if you can eat your food and you're not hungry, you can withstand the temptation of, of other food around you when you're full. It doesn't bother you that much. But the problem is when you work in fast food, I told y'all I worked fast food. So the problem when you work in fast food is you don't control when you're going on break. You can't just take a break every two hours. You don't get your first break on most jobs until after you've worked four hours. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, you're not entitled to a break until you work four hours. So it's like, you can't just be like, oh, I'm going to breakfast. Oh, yeah, I'll be back. I'm going to go get me a snack. Right. Uh, I got to go to lunch now. No, nah, you go to lunch when they relieve you to go to lunch. You know, or if you work in a factory, you go to lunch when the factory goes to lunch, you know, and then when you get the break that you get, them breaks be 15 minutes, 10 minutes, don't they, baby? Oh, yeah. Them, them, them factory breaks, you might get a 15 in there and you showed up ain't going to go to your locker, go get your snack or whatever or, or, or uh, you know, whatever it is. If you got to heat it up, you ain't going to make it to the microwave and back. It and better be not be time. no noodles, and y'all. you can't be late. Uh-uh. Oh, you so right. Mm-hmm. May not be none, but you know, you healthy eating, you ain't gonna be eating no noodles, but you so right. right. You mm-hmm. cannot make no noodles in no reasonable amount of time. And everybody knows that. You got 30 minutes, it's gonna be all of your 30 minutes to, to eat the noodles. Mm-hmm. Because you gotta go get the water, mm-hmm. put it in the bowl, get one of them microwaves that, you know, they be giving them little rinky-dink microwaves to take forever to cook. Mm-hmm. You gotta wait like seven, eight minutes of your thirty. Don't y'all wait nobody. I mean, you know, for somebody to get done with the microwave because they using it already. Oh, that's another thing. Be a line to the microwave, and then they take about six minutes to cook. If you cooking like what two, three packs, mm-hmm. five or six minutes, and then so you waiting there. Then you get it out. And you gotta fix it. You gotta put the seasoning in. You gotta doctor it all up and all that other stuff. That stuff takes so much time. And then you can't just max it because it's, it's piping hot. Y'all, y'all, y'all rhyming heads. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Man, you may want to let that window down. Why? You hot too? I just want to keep that outside noise out of the video. I, I, I'll manage for a little bit. All right, because I got one more top of me. Well, then you know. Y'all know how I roll. I'm good. That I was five more. tacos, y'all. Now I'm gonna eat five more. She gotta put all her peppers and all the hot sauce and everything mm-hmm. on that doctored up, you know. Meanwhile, while she cooking all that up, it's look how it look. there it go. There it That's go. the money shot. That look pretty too. That might be a good thumbnail. Really? Yeah. 
They do. They make them look all neat and pretty with the mm -hmm. with the tomato on the top. This is my last set, y'all. Y'all gonna be mad at me when you see this video. <laughs> that was gonna be mad. Daddy. I'm gonna be like, I told him that me and him could take a ride down here. Uh, this will probably be like a good 45 minutes or an hour ride, right? Mm hmm. I gotta call him and see what he's up to. Oh, down. Yeah, see if he got anything going on. On what? Work front. Uh oh. You should call him now. <laughs> mm -mm. Got me some peppers on deck, y'all. Y'all, those them 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 peppers and cauliflower and carrots soaked it's in like that vinegar. I love that vinaigrette taste on my peppers. On my and they got the cauliflower. Yeah, they be mad. So, those dairy sacks actually likes those too. They they be good though. They add a lot of flavor. That that vinegar. You got the carrots in here. Get ready to cut my hair off, y'all. I'm going bald. I'm just joking. I ain't going bald. Oh, That's not gonna happen. Really? That's not gonna He's happen. He's trying to get a mohawk. It's not gonna be like a mohawk, like some of y'all think. This ain't 1980. I ain't doing, you know, he ain't gonna look like you shark tail or nothing. No, I will probably just, you know how you see them, where they kind of fade it up like that and then they you know you still got the whole back and the top and all of this stuff but it's not like a you know mr t we, we ain't doing mr t out here you already told him what you wanted well, yeah I you must got to look a, a, a yeah, picture because ain't no way you came up with it yourself yeah i did come up with it no, I, I, I said by it, looking at I, somebody I else chose the style yeah it no, showed ain't by nothing up. right ain't no, ain't no new hairstyles out here that's you know not for no men Ain't nothing new out here for me. Yeah, I got extra tomatoes. I love my extra tomatoes, so. You say what? I said, ain't no new hairstyles out here for me. It's just repeats. I retreads. Know. All of them. Everything. You need to go because bald the or you wear It's like the Gumby to me. No, it ain't. It ain't the Gumby. Uh -uh. Gumby. The Gumby. When was, it was set aside yeah, with, Michael, with, with yeah. uh, Bobby Brown. Well, he, yeah. made, he said he made a mistake. The, the barber made yeah, a mistake. <laughs> the Gumby was a little, you know, wedge on the side. And then they started putting the, the little part right up against the line. I used to have that. I had that. I did that hairstyle. I think that was like seventh grade, though. You that did? Was, that was years ago. Yeah, I had a Gumby. Oh, who didn't have didn't? a Gumby? A woman. Well, I should hope not. Should we hope tried. Not. Y'all try everything. <laughs> Look, we Brother tried. get a fade, sister get a fade. It's all good. Now, hey. It's all I good mean, in the I neighborhood. Done seen, I done seen people that, that, that wear the little haircut. You know, ladies that wear the little haircut. It looks good on some. Yeah. It does. Because they got the hair for it. Yeah, you, you, you got to have, you gotta you gotta have, have a head. head. For it. You, gotta you have got the hair for, for it, you might as well hang it up. Yeah, y'all don't get offended when I say it looks good on some. It just don't look good on, on some of people. And that's, it's the same for men, too. Like, some men, some men naturally look good bald because they have yes. the, a good-shaped head for, for, for the bald, bald look, you know? You can't be... And other people have... You can't be lumpy out here talking about yeah, you want a bald head. Yeah, some people have the lump head, and, and there's nothing the wrong with head. it. I mean, it is what it is. You can't change it. You got you lumps, you got lumps. You surely can't get Cosmo to work on your head. No, I used to cut hair, y'all. I used oh, to yeah. cut hair, and, and, you know, hairstyles, when you're cutting hair... It's so much easier to, you know, cut somebody's head who has a good head shape. But when you when you cutting hair and everybody, you don't know. You get that that guy in the chair, you don't know what's under that hair. And some people have their skin bunched together, folded, and then you go to cutting or or they have a circle pattern in their head that you didn't realize. And you cut one direction, and they go, "Ooh, that look bad right there." Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got it, and then you spend the rest of the you spend the rest of the hairstyle fixing that one part, you know. So, or like the back of the head, you might have a, you know, we call it the pack of hot dogs. You know, we have to go. Mm -hmm. hey, I ain't talking nobody about nobody, y'all. I'm straight up. I'm, I'm being for real, cause uh, you know I'm big enough to where I had you know a hot dog and a half. Back there, so. he didn't have no. He had a Polish. I ain't had no Polish. You're taking it too far. Yeah, no, I didn't had a hot dog and a half he back had a there. Back so, Polish, I'm trying to get rid of my hot dogs right now. That's what we doing. 
We trying to slam down. I'm trying to get rid of the hot dogs in the back and the handles on the side and the, you know, I'm, 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 I'm yeah, I got a full yeah. bike going on. You got handles, a seat, and everything. I'm trying to get rid of all that stuff. I'm trying to, you know. I ain't got that much left though. I ain't got that much left. I could stand to lose about 30 more though easily. I'll be good about 30 pounds from now. Y'all gonna see me. I'm gonna be beach ready by the by the time summer get here. We're gonna be beach ready. What's beach ready to you? Beach ready is beach ready to me. Just like I told everybody that's watching me, beach ready is what you call beach ready. I ain't trying to say you a supermodel or not a supermodel or muscle in magazine type of guy or not a you know whatever you want, whatever you feel comfortable with. Beach wise, that's beach ready for you, and beach ready for me is. You know, my gut ain't hanging all out, and I ain't got the dumb lap. Y'all know what that is, is when your belly done lap. lapped over your belt. You ain't got that going on, and you know. But I ain't trying to be out here hanging out with no shirt on and all that stuff. Nah, I ain't, that's not me. Not to say I ain't going to look good when I do it, but I'm not going to do that because I'm, that's just not me. That's not us over here, y'all. Mm -hmm. I'll bust my tank top, and I'm going to call it a day with a whole bunch of suntan lotion because I ain't getting mm -hmm. no, hey. He got burnt before. For y'all. I like that. I like that, y'all. Hey, y'all. Sorry about that. My my phone got overheated. So, I'm going to sign out, y'all. This is my last taco. I ate 10 tacos. And I'm going to try to finish this. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let me get my mouth on full. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with anyone, everyone. Let them know what your girls doing on the channel. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to stay safe, stay blessed. Peace. I'm going to finish this, y'all, if it don't go out. I just want to do a sign out. Just in case it cut out, then you can cut that out. Really? Right. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you saw us leaving now, huh? For real, for real. I'm ready to go now. Um. Huh? Really? Soon and very soon. Okay. Yeah. We don't need that singer. Oh, uh, whatever. Whatever, baby. Ooh, y'all tell us if y'all live in a state where y'all taxes are high, like crazy high. Illinois, we live in Illinois, we already know. Just tell me if you live in a state where your taxes is high, the people just keep spending money with the government and keep raising your taxes and they just outrageous and your property taxes is outrageous and everything's just crazy. Let us know, because I don't want to move where you are. All right. That's that's real talk, y'all. Oh, uh, what a cost of living. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, that's one thing I'm going to miss, baby, if we do move away. Unless we move to, like, Florida or something. I don't know. I don't know. Florida's got that, too. There, There's a, like, Wisconsin. What? So, y'all, if you, if you live in Wisconsin, you know that we have no tax on food. Mm -hmm. like unprepared food like if you go to a restaurant it's tax on that but like if you go to the grocery store there's no tax on the food mm -hmm. no tax on food items that's that's yeah i know y'all like what nope no taxes period so up here if you got 200 dollars, you actually get 200 dollars worth of food not $170 dollars worth of food and pay mm -hmm. 20 something dollars 30 dollars worth of taxes that's mm -hmm. not how it go not up here. Oh, it's good. Super good. And people that are neighboring states, they come up here and do their grocery shopping. I would too. I would too. Who was that? Yeah, that was Mom me. and now live in Oh, yeah. They, they come so, ain't now now they just, they just went to the store at the border. Yeah, go to the border. People do that a lot. You know, like, especially in Illinois because they got all the taxes on the cigarettes and the 
When they had the soda tax. <laughs> wow, mm -hmm. who thought that was a good idea? To oh. tax the heck out of the sodas. Who thought that was a good idea? They changed it back. I, yeah, hello? Hello? You putting people out of business. You know That was horrible. You know that soda for companies is one of their highest grossing products because it's so cheap to make. And they make a lot of profit off of them. And for you to say, hey, I'm going to tax you guys for buying soda that you like. Because we want to change your habits, mm -hmm. your shopping habits, your eating habits. We want to ban sugar in your life. That's crazy. Listen, that you is... You can't tell he how to eat and what to do. That's fanatical, man. That's, that's their crazy. decision that they want to eat, drink soda, or whatever. Right. Yeah. I just don't understand it. That's just a, so too much yeah, control. That's too much control. They already trying to do everything. They're trying to tell control you everything. how to live your life and what you can do. You know what? The reality is, is when you give people freedom... To do whatever they want in their life, some of them are gonna choose the wrong thing. That's life. You 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 are the sum of the choices that you make. And you know people we, smoke cigarettes every day. You know they're that. dangerous, but they know that's dangerous. They know that some people die from it, some people don't. Right. Some people never get a lung so, cancer or never be affected some, by them cigarettes. Some people don't. Right. Some people live and die normal and mm -hmm. smoke 90 years. Oh, you know, I'm saying a lot. Mm -hmm. And then and, and nothing ever happened. Me too. Some people, some people can eat the way they want to eat and live as long as they live and have no problems. Never have diabetes, high they blood pressure, have, you know, no. It's, so it's really, it's more than just the habits. I mean, your body is predisposed genetically to some things. Mm -hmm. And so for, you know, anybody from a overarching governmental body to say, you can't eat this because it's bad for you, and you, you can't drink this or do this or smoke or whatever and all that other stuff because it's bad for you. Yeah, that's probably not right. Now, I do agree. I absolutely agree with them forcing companies to put labels on things that identify potential risks and hazards to your life and all of that stuff. I absolutely agree with that because then you give information to people for them to make their own decisions. And if you choose to do that knowing it's going to be bad for you, hey, go right ahead. That's like them drug commercials where it says, yeah, this is going to be good for your, I don't know, plaque psoriasis or something like that. But you're going to have headaches, potential seizures, <laughs> might death, die. Death. You know what I'm saying? You know, at least they put it out there. You know, and some people are in the situation where they would rather fix their issue that they're dealing with and deal with a possible risk that her side effect that might come up than to live with what they got you know that's their decision yeah that is it is what it is yep but y'all we finna peace out go well, we yeah get on this road peace but out. we love you guys yeah because i'm burning up right now i should say don't forget to like comment subscribe because then i won't tell to put the other one in right do it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and share this video with anyone and everyone let them know what your girl is doing on this channel and we will see you guys well i will see you guys tomorrow with another video i love you guys so 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 much don't forget to stay safe and stay blessed peace deuces Oh, y'all don't look at my teeth. I don't think the things have some of my teeth. What's up, my lovelies? You guys, today I'm finna tell y'all how many meatballs I ate in that challenge. And a lot of y'all got it right. But remember, I told y'all, if y'all wanted to get a shout out, just put it up under the pinned comment of how many meatballs y'all thought I ate. So everybody that got 79 meatballs was correct. And I'm going to read out the names. I'm shouting all you guys out because that was awesome that you took the time out to look at the video and count every meatball. So here we go. Emil, Rex, Shells, Monique, Rudy Shelton, Anisha Bryant, LaShonda Davis, Anna Azul, Dosiki, Catherine Lynn, wait, Catherine, mm -hmm. Katharina? Lim, I hope I'm I'm saying that right. Rav Ravnit, Sinai, Nini and Steph, Precious for three, Annie Lutoner, Gwen Henderson, Latoya Price, Adrian Pickle. I think I'm saying that right. Time uh no, Jaden E, Takesha Bibbins, Jasmine Quintana, Red Libra. Jenny McWilliams, Brittany Bunton, 
Val Go and Brittany March. And one more was Tammy Wilson. And I'm going to give a special shout out to Tammy Wilson because Tammy Wilson sent me an email that she, when she, she sent me an email of her sheet that she tally up every meatball that she had on the sheet along with me missing six bales for the ones that I ate. It was six that I, that I did not eat. And it was 73 that I did uh, have a bell with. So, shout out to you. A special shout out to you because I thought that was so sweet. She sent me the tally up. I mean, she had that sheet all marked up. So, kudos to you, girl. But kudos to all of y'all for even participating in this challenge. It was amazing. I appreciate you guys. And I'm going to do what do more in the future. So, y'all got y'all shout outs. Love you guys. Peace.